Okay, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Uh, we've got three and a half minutes to go to the start of the seventh race. That's one from the end of the Tornado Europeans here at Lake Garda in Italy. Here's Swedish. Hey. Oh, excuse my French. Oh, watch, watch the swearing. Yes, we want to apologise already now for any swearing that might occur during uh, during this video. We'll uh, try to edit it out later. All right, let's drive there. wind is building, it's probably now somewhere like 14 knots. Everybody's bunching up here near to the uh, committee boat end. We're gonna just tag near Bob, or maybe a bit earlier near the Swiss guys. 155. more starboard bias on the start line than we've been having just trying not to be over early so just parking up there traveler out jibs on tight so that we can keep the boat moving shortening the trapeze we took a transit earlier so it seems that we're pretty safe just here Looks like there's a definite line of wind just over to the left of where we are here. So we'll try to get into that as soon as we can. So I think we'll go for the pin again. One minute. Maybe not right at the pin, maybe 40 seconds. So get it hooked on, ready. I'm gonna try to explode off the start line here. 30 seconds. Monster 377 are going for an explosion, that's for sure. soon and duck the Australians. All right. right, three, two, one, and we'll go there. Not the best tack in the world. Can we Surface in the course. 
So at this stage we're looking for the mark, quite a way to go. Looking through the window here, trying not to hit anyone. It's alright, they're just going over. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, we just sailed underneath their 
Hull there's Johnny rapid response unit kite is up pulling and we're off on the next leg in hot pursuit that was very exciting that is some solid gold footage there I thought they were capsizing don't know how they actually did that so we're just keeping the pace on here We've got the pace on like this. Boat stays a lot steadier. Like a train, it's like it's on rails. Like a train is on rails. Unless it's just derailed, which would be like a disaster for the passengers and the uh, railway company alike. So we're just trying to keep our train on the rails here. We're going really nicely. I can't see where the Aussies are. Maybe they've, I don't think they've jibed off. Oh, they're just down there. We are gaining on them. And we're pulling away from the Italians who nearly spooned it there, who we sailed under. So if we sail into a big hole, we're gonna throw a jibe in almost immediately. So we can stay in this gust. But we really are arcing it downwind here. Johnny's having a good look down there, see where the mark is. Okay, cool. So, oh, the Aussies are stuck a bow in. Oh, that's our time to monopolise on their bow sticking. We are absolutely trucking here for the wind. Feels great. I think Johnny might even be smiling at this occasion. He's a, another one in a long line of moody sweets we've had to deal with. <laughs> All right, just move forward a bit, John. I'm going to come in. So just getting ready for the jibe. So maybe we'll jibe here. You ready, John? All right. Maybe you could go. Can you go out on the on the wire? Yes, yeah, so we'll get over the top of them. Oh, there's some aggressive steering on board there. Crikey. Now this is, the trick shot is getting over the top of someone like this. Just to try not to bear down onto them. This is very exciting. Okay, yeah. Now we're looking for boats coming down on starboard tack. So we'll probably have to go behind this white spinnaker yeah. and then bang the jibe in. Although we could jibe on top of them, watch out, I need to see. Yeah, let's jibe here. Ready? I'll get the stick ready for the mark round here. Oh, bit of bad boat handling there from the helmsman okay yeah let's drop it there okay trying to get a good mark right in there Johnny his job because he's uh, allowed to come and stretch his legs for a bit. A bit lower on the trapeze. So I'm getting this bad boy down. Right behind us, the Italians. They currently insist. So we're going to get sucked into the dirt here. But I think I'll maybe we'll try and tag off as soon as we've got clear lane. Dumping quite a lot of 
sheet there. One of the big questions is where is Danny and Costas? I don't know what that noise was, but it certainly helped. Certainly made them aware of our presence. Can't wait to see the footage of going underneath that other tornado. We'll use that in the protest here. and get the spinnaker up. What do you expect? Just to wait for you while you Guys, currently in second overall, attack behind Bob. head there from the boom but nothing that a uh, bit of time won't heal oh, oh no snagged on a bit of elastic now the swiss boat tanks on top of us oh no they've gone under that is better so these off the downhaul a bit we'll try to point a little bit to uh,
Express. Look at these Swiss guys. Oh, look at the Italians. Oh, in Italian style. Oh my goodness. That is... I'd say perhaps Johnny went in a little bit early there, but who's arguing? Not me. And we'll just see if we can... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to do the same thing again. It's a very similar situation. Just watching that boat. Make sure we're not going to bear right off on them. We'll catch the kite on their bowsprit. And looking for the kite. It's up. There's Johnny with the sheet. And now let's put, put the beans down. Just need to get out the fill and... Off we go. Okay, can you see under? Are we bear it. We've got someone directly yeah. under us. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got boats coming up wind as well. Okay, I can just see the wake off that boat. Yeah, I'll go down a bit. Yeah, I know. Let's not. It's a little consequence. All right, now let's. Now we've got a clear line. We'll get the boat trucking again, like we did last time. Hopefully. Swedish John here is one of the finest uh, spinnaker trimmers on board the boat GBR2. <laughs> The only way that we know where this boat is underneath us is by their wake, which is a little bit alarming at times. Yeah, we could see them. We've got the pace on them. You got me, boys, down there somewhere. Oh shit! Yeah, I hadn't seen that. Well spotted. Okay. Uh, we need to do something then. <laughs> okay, you might have to bunk the kite, John. So at the moment we've got more wind than these guys, which is mean that we naturally want to... Wow, look at that angle. We're almost... Yeah, if I come in, we might even make it around the gate. That might be a no, little bit precarious. That, yeah, I'm in anyway. I'm not going out again. We'll let these guys go past to get more of a clean line. So Italian. Those Italians, always dangerous and uh, what's the word? Lively, lively. I think. Okay, yeah, let's go. Here we go for the jive. Maybe, maybe out on the wire there, Johnny. Oh, oh that worked out pretty well, actually. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, right, I can see a bit better now. Just sheet out a little bit. So we've jived early, which means we're going to be coming across in front of that Italian boat with rights which is uh, nice for a change. You got a gate? Yeah, I could see it, yeah. All right, we're gonna jive in three, two, one, and we'll jive there. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, we're done, we're done. All right, drop the kite early. This windsurfer is discovering the color of adrenaline right now, and that stuff is as brown as it gets. These guys are going to park at the boy, which is a little bit. So it's... it's the French guy shouting up at the windsurfer. Windsurfer speaker. Okay, Sonia, last up wind, we managed to tack off in a really good spot. Yeah. Here we are getting a little bit re 
rinse with some dirty wind. It's good pressure here. Maybe we should go for another little pressure burn up the uh Oh, they've gone as well. Oh no, those guys have gone right. Right, so we really need to get the pace on it quick. Stay out of the dirty wind. We saw it here, second on oh, Joy Rider TV. what we did to them last time they've gone the other side of this header so we're not looking quite so golden now but
me standing on my trapeze shot cord that makes it feel a little bit groovy when you go out on the trapeze. And Johnny likes to give me these unusual feelings sometimes. It's all part of the game. So it looks like we've had gains on the Aussies, but the wind has really swung around so much that we're actually sailing upwind to get to the spreader mark rather than to the windward mark. Crazy, I know. The positions coming in here is it's a bit of a pain because we're not maybe we'll have the speed to get past these guys. But Johnny's got to go in anyway. Getting ready for the big bear away. There we go. And it's up. Now we're in a pretty poor position here underneath these guys. All right, I'm going to go up. I can just see him through the window. So I'm trying to stay up a bit, so if we do get the big gust, we don't, we don't have to funk it. Funking the spinnaker basically means getting all a bit of James Brown on it and uh, just releasing it for a second so that we don't have to bear away. It's not attractive, chicks don't like it, but um, sometimes it is necessary. So here we are, we're going for the finish line this time, so two goals here is one to get in front of the boat in front and another not to let anybody through. So here we go, just very delicate here not to put too much beans on. Just to keep this bad boy absolutely hurtling across the uh, tranquil waters of Lake Garda, Italy. Seagull in the water there. They're very brave seagulls here at Garda. They only take off right at the last minute. You think you're going to run them down. But uh, they're a bit too cunning for you there. If that's what you think. All right, I think I might come onto the boat now. Change modes a little bit. Wind's gone a little bit lighter. Uh, oh, not just yet. I think I think that would be dangerous. All those boats behind are going a lot deeper, which uh, yeah. Let's drive on the next gust. Here it comes. I think here it comes. And okay, we'll drive there. Lovely jibe there from Johnny. Johnny knows how to execute a nice jibe. And that was it. Now, just looking at these boats on starboard coming down. Hopefully we've got what it... Oh no, I don't know. Real ring twitching moments there on board Bad Boy 94. <laughs> Johnny needs to change his pants. Where? Uh, right. One below us. Oh, so we really are looking pretty tight with the Aussies here for the finish. I think they are. They have got the upper hand slightly. It does depend on the bias of the finish line. Go chuck this over the back, don't want it anymore. Looking for the other end of the line. Yeah, they've absolutely gutted us like some sort of fish there. Uh, unfortunately, I think these Swiss guys have done it as well. 
All right, so we're going to jive. Yeah, we'll jive there. Okay, not quite as good a jive that time, but... Again, the uh, Bad Boy 94 warning alarm going off for anybody who might be anywhere in the vicinity. Okay, and that's the finish. I think we probably uh, got a fifth, I think. Fifth or sixth there. Let's drop the kite. Very exciting. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. That was, uh, in fact, the best race of the regatta for us. So I think the comment. The live commentary is obviously working well, we're just gonna jibe. Keeping the head down. That was a bad jibe. What's going on? Is it surely that's not it? It's two it's 250. Surely there's another race. Okay. Surely there's another race. Surely there's another race. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a bit a pleasure taking you around this race course with us. I hope you enjoyed the thrills and spills and uh, there wasn't too much swearing. Okay, we are being signaled to go back in. So that is it. It's the end of the regatta. There's the international jury. They're there always. One more race, one more race. Always standing by, there's the race committee doing a fine job. There's Lake Garda, but Johnny is devastated. We were hoping for one more race.